a life dedicated to God. The year was 1979. Turkey was fraught with anarchy, conflicts, and political instability, where the threat of illegal communist terrorist organizations loomed over urban life. In that year, a young man moved to Istanbul to begin his university education at Mimar Sinan University, the Faculty of Fine Arts, as the third highest scoring student. During this time, where unsolved murders were a common occurrence, Adnan Akhtar set out to preach the existence of God amidst militant communists. He would engage in debates with fanatical Marxists on dialectic materialism. Every day he would walk alone all the way to the Mola Mosque, ridden with illegal leftist militants to perform his daily prayers. Adnan Akhtar continues his intellectual effort that he embarked upon with great enthusiasm and courage four decades ago with an ever-increasing resolution. Let us summarize these 40 remarkably productive years. Adnan Akhtar's series of books, which began with the very first The Theory of Evolution booklet he published against the atheist movements in Mimar Sinan University, has brought the downfall of the theory of evolution. While the rate of those who believe in Darwinism in Turkey was 90% in the 70s, today it has plummeted to a staggering 5%. The 2005 survey carried out by the Science magazine in 34 countries revealed that Turkey is the country with the lowest acceptance of evolution. In the wake of the September 11 attacks, one of the root causes that resulted in Islamophobia spreading like wildfire, Adnan Akhtar published his book, Islam Denounces Terrorism, which has now become a widely used slogan worldwide. Adnan Akhtar has opened new horizons on issues people cannot even dare to consider together through a rational discourse based on the Quran and tangible evidence. Islam in the Arts Islam in Science Islam in Modernity Freedom Beauty Women Joy On one hand, Adnan Akhtar has promoted the bright face of Islam, while on the other hand, he erected the soundest intellectual barrier against the Marxist, Leninist, atheist, and separatist PKK terrorist organization. The copies of his books and brochures on the atrocities of the PKK and the justified struggle of the Turkish Republic against this terrorist organization have been widely distributed, particularly in Europe. The dozens of conferences held throughout Turkey helped establish and maintain a resolute stance against the PKK. So far, Adnan Akhtar has not received a single penny in royalties from his books, which have been translated into 73 languages and are available at bookshops in over 100 countries. He has been preaching God and Islam with fondness and great patience for the last 40 years through hundreds of documentary films, over 5,000 international conferences, and through more than a thousand websites based on his books, which are visited by millions. Adnan Akhtar has been waging a 40-year-long effort in raising a pious, modern, and enlightened Turkish youth who is loyal to its state and protects the integrity of its homeland and independence of its nation, no matter how high the cost, as envisioned by Ataturk. May God bless the ever-altruistic Adnan Akhtar, who has never spent a moment of his life for self-interest.